and welcome back to Western New York Living. Now, if you've been driving in our area during the winter, you've probably hit the brakes a few times and started to slide. Now, hopefully you stopped before you bumped into anything. But the question comes up, do the rules of fault change in the winter time? Well, here to answer that question and other winter driving issues, we've got Stephen Sioka from Salino Law. Thanks for joining us today, Stephen. Thanks for having me. Now, right off the bat, I want to know about, I always hear about no fault, your fault, my fault, our fault. How does that change in the winter, or does it? It really doesn't. So when you talk about no fault, that kind of goes into a different area of no fault law. That means that regardless of who's at fault, the vehicle that you are in is going to pay your no fault benefits, such as lost wages, medical bills, prescription costs, that type of thing. But in the wintertime, just like in the summertime, if somebody causes a crash, they're at fault. All right, so there's no consideration for driving conditions, or is there? So, great question. So, the vehicle and traffic law takes that into account, and even though you may be driving the speed limit, mm -hmm. it, you can still be cited for speeding or driving at an unsafe speed depending on the weather conditions. Gotcha. So, the, the idea is, is operate your vehicle in conjunction with what's out there. So what's everyone's obligation to get behind the wheel in the winter time? What do I need to pay attention to? So you need to pay attention. First of all, you have an obligation to make sure all of your windows are clear. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you've seen, like I have, people driving around and half their windshield is covered or their back window is covered or their side windows are covered. Those have to be clear. That's the law. Secondly, you want to make sure that your vehicle obviously is in good running condition and be careful when applying the brakes. People always think, well, if I slide and I hit somebody, that's an emergency. That's not my fault. It is your fault mm -hmm. because you have an obligation to drive your vehicle, taking the road conditions into account. Stephen, what is considered an emergency in winter driving in New York? Is there a legal definition of what's an emergency? So there is a, a, there is a legal definition. Uh, basically, I'll, I'm not going to get into it very specifically, but it's something which is unforeseen and unavoidable, such as a, a tree falls down, a deer darts out of the woods, something like that. It's unforeseen and unavoidable. The thing with winter driving is you can see it. So if you know that you're driving in winter conditions, you have to take that into account. That being said, there are certain situations where you may hit something which we all know, black ice, which is it is unforeseen, it's unforeseeable, and in that situation, you could potentially argue you were faced with an emergency and what you did was reasonable under the circumstances. So it's up to the driver to be aware, even though the speed limit says one thing, it's not safe to actually drive that speed. Is that correct? That's correct. And that's really common sense. If, if you're from Buffalo, you've spent any amount of time here, you, you get that. You know, just because it's 30 miles an hour doesn't mean you should go 30 miles an hour in a crummy road. Yeah, that's, that's good advice. Absolutely. Now, what are the first steps people should take if and when they have an accident? So if you get involved in a crash, immediately check yourself, check any passengers, make sure everybody's okay. And if they're not, make sure that you contact emergency personnel immediately, the police, mm -hmm. ambulance, that type of thing. If everybody is okay or if you are a little bit questioned, make sure you get medical attention because you just never know. Injuries can crop up. Even the next day, all of a sudden, when the adrenaline wears off, you, you realize, oh my God, I'm hurt. So you just want to make sure you contact emergency personnel. When you get home, contact your insurance company. Make sure you notify them. At the scene, it's always a good idea. I tell people all the time, take pictures. Make sure you identify the other people that are involved in the crash with you so that you have that information. Always great advice. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Nicholas. Good All to right. see you. Good to see you, too. The personal injury attorneys at Salino Law represent injury victims throughout New York State. If you've been involved in a motor vehicle accident, then Salino Law can help. Their offices are located at 800 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. For more information, give Salino Law a call at 800-555-5555. Now, you can also visit their website at salinolaw.com to learn more about the different services that Salino Law provides.